Hello everyone. Um, today you're going to get to see the cynical side of me, um, and I'll tell you right now, I'm just going to have a moan and a whinge about things, so if you don't want to hear it, go ahead and change the channel, watch something more interesting. I know I would. Um, I received an email today at work, and usually I don't even open these types of emails because, well, they're pointless but they're also kind of laden with guilt and superstition. At the end, it'll say something like, uh, if you don't forward this to ten of your bestest friends, then you'll die at midnight and never meet your one true love. Ridiculous. Um, the subject line is, did you know? Um, and it says, here are some facts about the 1500s. Facts, I think that's probably used a bit liberally. I doubt this has been fact-checked or proofread in any way. Um, the, the grammar is horrible and the syntax is even worse. And punctuation, non-existent. Um, okay, so let's see. Houses had thatched roofs, thick straw piled high with... Sorry, that's written poorly. I think that's just meant to be a definition of thatched roofs in case you didn't know what those were. Um, with no wood underneath. It was the only place for animals to get warm, so all the cats and other small animals, in brackets, mice, bugs, lived in the roof. When it rained, it would become slippery, and sometimes the animals would slip and fall off the roof. Hence the saying, it's raining cats and dogs. Thrilling. Let's see, what else do we have on here? Ah, lead cups were used to drink ale or whiskey. The combination would sometimes knock the imbibers out for a couple of days. Someone walking along the road would take them for dead and prepare them for burial. They were laid out on the kitchen and table for a couple of days, and the family would gather around and eat and drink and wait and see if they would wake up. Hence the custom of holding a wake. Okay, I have a couple of problems with this. First of all, who in their right mind, just just some random citizen, goes around the street looking for dead bodies and then also prepares them for burial? I mean, that's awfully charitable. I doubt that people in the Middle Ages had the time or the inclination to just pick up random dead bodies, unless they were, you know, looting them or something. <sighs> anyway. And also, the, the idea of what, if this is what the idea of a wake is based on, why are we still doing it? It's, it's just another, another opportunity to spend money, eat pineapples and, you know, bits of pineapple and cheese, and, and extend the grieving with all the family members. And I'm sure some people say, oh, but it's tradition. What's your point? We've had loads of traditions that we've gotten rid of, like hanging, or shooting squads, or burying a frog to get rid of a wart. Utterly ridiculous. Um, let's see, what else? Ah! This writing that I'm about to read you, it is utterly eloquent. I hope you enjoy. England is old and small, and the local folks started turning, running out of places to bury people. Switching from the present tense to the past tense in the same sentence. Marvelous. So they would dig up coffins and would take the bones to a bone house and reuse the grave. When reopening these coffins, one out of 25 coffins were found to have scratch marks on the inside and they realized they had been burying people alive. So they would tie a string on the wrist of the corpse, lead it through the coffin and up through the ground and tie it to a bell. Someone would have to sit out in the graveyard all night. That's where the term graveyard shift comes from. Uh, to listen for the bell. Thus, someone could be saved by the bell or was considered a dead ringer. <laughs> I am convinced that in the future, whatever civilization we have, we'll find these kinds of emails in some kind of digital archive and think, what a bumbling group of fools. What an utter waste of my time. Why do people send this to me? I hate... When I check work email, especially work email, I don't want to see any spam there. I want it to be pertinent to my day because I have important things to do. But no. What is there when I open it? This tat. This crap. Some kind of email about the Middle Ages. <sighs> okay, I've calmed down. I've released, which is, I, I suppose that's the point of, you know, YouTube videos. If you have something to say, you say it. If people watch it, great. If not, great. That's cool. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed my whinging. If not, well, 
Probably not. Let's be honest. You probably didn't enjoy it. By now, you've actually probably already turned over and you're watching a new music video by Lady Gaga or some horrible artist. Anyway, have a wonderful day.